this is Peaches and welcome back to the Little Boxes Project. This is the Sims 4 series where I rebuild and renovate every single lot from every single world in the Sims 4 so I can create my own save file. And today we are building in the lot called Rippling Flats in Newcrest, which I made into a basketball court. Now you might remember the old basketball court that I made a couple years ago. Uh, which was actually pretty similar to this one. Um, the difference is that I I did want it to redo it because now that we have, as you can see right now, I'm messing I'm messing around with it. But now that we have foundations with different heights, I can I can do this properly. You know, I, we can have proper steps so people can sit around and watch the match and all that stuff. So. That's what I decided to do and that's why I think I, would, I was mentioning it on my previous video of the park that, you know, I just wanted them to be close together and it's a very clean, very perfect style. I don't know, I, I'm really happy how it turned out. I do like the old one that I made too, but as I said, I think it's it was time for an update. And you will have to forgive me because I do go back and forth a lot with um, the stairs and the fences that go around the steps because they kind of like cut out on the side sometimes. I don't know if you can see it. So I had to like place them and I, I had to like move the foundation back one slot and then place the fence and then move the foundation back where it was, if that makes any sense. And then... Um, so I do cut out a little bit of that, I hope you guys don't mind, but because it was a little repetitive and boring. Um, and then I do make the uh, field a little bit bigger at some point, so Sims can walk around, realistically speaking, so Sims can walk around the steps and they don't, I don't know, get hit in the face by a basketball. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I, I don't know, I have the idea that People can use this, I know it doesn't have a lot of use other than just playing basketball, it's just a normal park, but I had the idea that people might just want to use it with like clubs. I think it would be a really cool idea to just make a couple of basketball clubs and I don't know, have each other. I know you cannot have an actual match in The Sims 4, but you can like maybe play against each other and dribble against each other and things like that. I think it will be kind of fun, maybe. And I actually do make um, dressing rooms here in a minute. I just add them to the back of the park. And um, there is two of them, so you can actually separate the teams, if that makes sense. You'll see what I'm talking about. And I do try to keep the very same landscaping from the park next door, so it kind of feels a little bit more like an extension uh, or rather than you know an, another different lot um even though you have to probably just i don't know reload the screen <laughs> you have to load the screen again when you go to another lot which is kind of annoying but it, it makes it feel a little bit more seamless these two lots together having the same trees and the same landscape and all that stuff so i do try to keep it very very similar and the uh, dressing room which i'm starting over here um has a very mid-century modern style i do um i think i mentioned that i made a pool a community pool too and it has a very similar style so it's a little bit it's a little bit mid-century modern but not too not too retro if that makes sense <laughs> So I keep it, I keep it mid-century modern, but modern. I don't I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, here are the uh, the dressing rooms, and I do make a little space up front uh, over here with some chairs, so the players that are currently not playing and the coaches can just you know sit around and watch the match from a uh, privileged perspective. <laughs> I think. I didn't, I never played basketball when I was little, so, you know, this is all my imagination. <laughs> you guys can correct me <laughs> if you want. In fact, I do remember when I made that very first basketball court a couple of years ago, 
I posted it on Reddit and Simburu Houts, I believe was, um, chimed in and he <laughs> chimed in in the post and he said, hey, you need to like leave, you need to put the, uh, the basket, the baskets, the actual baskets, you need to put them like a little, I swear, behind the lines. Uh, because they, otherwise people just run into the posts, you know? So I actually had to um, fix that because I really did not want it to look like, I don't know, unrealistic or anything. But you can see it right there that the, uh, the poles are just a little bit behind the line. And it makes sense when you think about it, you know? Um, so I actually went back and changed it and I uploaded a second version of the... Um, of that basketball court but now I did it right the first time <laughs> so here's where I'm starting to decorate the dressing rooms they are nothing they're not different from the bathrooms that I usually make in community lots I just put a couple showers in there too because since it's a it's a basketball court and since we'll exercise they'll get all stinky and they'll want to take a shower but um, I made them, I gave them a different color scheme. So kind of kind of matches the two little um, flags that I put outside. Um, which I'm assuming that you guys will change it to fit your your team, your team colors. Those those flags from get to get together do really work very well for these kinds of things, honestly. But anyways, I'm I'm rumbling a little bit. I am I don't know if you noticed or not. Maybe not. If you didn't notice, that's good. Uh, I've been a little MIA. A little bit. Just a little bit. I did not upload a Cities of Skylines last week. Um, I just cannot find the time. The right time to record. It's a little hard. Especially when I'm sharing this space with my husband who likes to play Dota and it's really noisy and I don't want to interrupt him. But there's a couple things that need to happen around my house, but in the future i will move to the guest room that we have and that will be my office in the future so i can just close the door and record whenever i want and it's gonna be really nice but for now i just need to uh swallow my spanish pride and stop you know procrastinating in the mornings and just get up early and uh, take advantage of that moment of peace in the mornings to record which is what I'm doing exactly right now because um, it's uh, it's it really is kind of complicated to just you know find the time what am I saying I've been catching up on videos today I uploaded foundation yesterday for you and uh, tomorrow tomorrow your time obviously Thursday I will be uploading a very special video because, as you may or may not know, Realm of Magic was announced and I'm really excited about it. I actually, I know people want to see um, university, but I, I don't, alright? I really don't. I, I'm here for the magic, okay? Making Magic was my favorite expansion pack in The Sims ever. And I'm really excited to see that back. I was never a huge fan of Supernatural in The Sims 3. I think I have it, but I just never use it. I never used it. I didn't play The Sims 3 much. But uh, this looks very, very cool. And I'm really excited. And game packs have been really good the past couple years in The Sims 4. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how it goes. And... Um, yeah, keep an eye on Thursday because there's a special video coming out and I really do hope you guys like it because I I, I had quite quite some fun recording it honestly but um yeah I'm getting close here close close ish to the end of the video I just I'm just making a couple spaces here for your sims to sit down and have lunch or whatever I do imagine the kids after their matches just sitting down here and the coach inviting them to ice cream or something like that. I don't know. I think I think it's very cute. I did have to put um the the um what's it called? The picnic tables 
because I think it's a park or a national park or something. So it was one of the requirements and I thought, hey, I'll just make a little space uh, for your sims to just sit down and have a snack and all that stuff. But yeah, this is the end of the video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this build and as always, it's gonna be linked in the description down below and I will see you guys on the next video.